So this is going to be a quick video just explaining what conic sections are. If you see here, here they are. Circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. And then there are some weird ones that are end up being straight lines or X's, but these are the main four. So for each one of these shapes, you're going to have an equation that goes with it and some particular properties that are really useful. But what the Greeks noticed very early on was that as they studied circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas, they all are sections or slices of a cone. And so you see, depending on the angle that you slice each slice, you're going to get a different shape. Now, as you look through here, like there's circle and then there's ellipse, which is an elongated circle, and then a parabola where it doesn't close at all and it just goes on forever. But there's also this hyperbola, and the hyperbola looks like it's just like a parabola. So in this picture, you can't see the difference, but I, that's why I went to Wikipedia and stole this other picture here. If you see here, on the right side, you have a hyperbola, and number one here is the parabola. So the main difference here is that if you put cones on top of each other, the hyperbola actually will always have two sides to it. The parabola will only have one side. So from here on out, we're going to look at each one individually. And then we're going to figure out the equation and we're going to talk about very specific properties of each one.